people say marketing is everything do you believe that i don't believe that because in social media not everything is marketing you should be knowing what is the relevant stuff that facebook or google give importance like uh, you can't post any random shit on the facebook or google and expect that you are uh, marketing message will be reaching to a lot of audience you know google or facebook doesn't have any content they are the just the platforms that built on people uh, creating the content so their algorithms are getting very smart and smart over the years like if you go in eight years back or six years back their algorithm was very dumb like uh, even if you post a random sheet you used to get a lot of attention on the social media platform so many people have uh, misconceptions that in order to get my marketing message or many my message to reach audience i got to go through the paid advertisement i got to pay uh, facebook money to show my message to the audience well it's completely wrong it's not the only thing you can grow with the organic marketing as well so without wasting any time let's check it out what is organic marketing Hey what's up beautiful people my name is Umesh and in this video we're going to learn what are the strategies on that you can use on Facebook to grow your audience organically well as i told you before uh, there are two kinds of marketing one is organic marketing and inorganic marketing which is paid marketing or paid advertisements so many people go with the paid advertisement and that's why many Facebook ad gurus have came to help you guys uh, in growing and spending a lot of money and sometimes you will be feeling frustrated because you don't uh, achieve the target or the goal that you want so what is organic marketing well organic marketing is nothing but you should be posting uh, content on facebook that gives same level of engagement when you post a message through paid advertisement so what does it takes for any post or message that you put on facebook to have a lot of engagement well you need to understand that where your audience are really at like you should be knowing who your audience and because i have been telling this message for very long and long and long in all my videos that without knowing your audience you can't really know your or you cannot have the engagement on your facebook post remember facebook always wants relevant post on their platform and they always want their users to have engagements on the uh, facebook if if it is nothing if it's like irrelevant irrelevant or uh, useless shit that you post or uh, just for the sake of likes or the, just for the sake of comments shares because people used to post irrelevant posts like uh, what is your favorite animal dog cat uh, you know tiger lion and if you like the lion share this message uh, if you like the dog like this message there used to be useless shit post uh, back uh, before 2014 and in 2014 they have cracked on all this useless uh, post or the topics on the facebook and they have cleaned up all the facebook and their algorithm became very smart and they are their algorithm is usually finding best messages best posts with a lot of engagement and they promote and show it to many people organic when your goal is to reach a maximum audience with organic marketing but you should be also knowing what are the community rules or the facebook rules uh, you should be respecting them in order to uh, gain popularity or gain more audience so facebook is very strict in terms of uh, posting what content on their platform so you should be understand what are the community guidelines or the what are the uh, uh, rules that you should be posting because if you post something related to uh, make money uh, online quick or uh, use uh, like you will get six pack apps in one week they're going to completely remove this kind of messages because they are uh, they are mostly related to scams or any pyramid schemes that you 
uh, I'm gonna promote so that that's kind of stuff doesn't work anymore on the Facebook and all right so what is organic marketing strategy well organic marketing strategy is nothing but you should be getting a lot of engagement on the posts or videos or uh, the whatever the stuff you put on your Facebook page or your profile so how do you get real engagement on the Facebook or any other platform on the social media well it's with the content so many people don't have the content either or they don't have the content strategy uh, which I've been talking in a lot of videos as well uh, because content if content is a king the engagement is something beyond that king right so you uh, you just do no need to post content for just for the sake of posting something all right so you should be knowing uh, audience as well so who's your audience what do they do what are the problems they have what questions they have what are the what are the main blockage that they have in order to go to the next level what are the pain areas you should be really understanding uh, your audience perfectly before posting the content my video that i'm posting here right now is for the authors coaches and consultants uh, trainers who doesn't have uh, engaging posts on facebook and are struggling with generating the leads so i'm targeting them so likewise you should be also targeting uh, your audience uh, pointing their pain areas suppose if you are targeting uh, in the fitness niche so what kind of fitness you are like what is it a, a you're gonna promote the dieting or you're gonna promote the exercises or you're gonna promote a mindset or the peaceful meditation whom you're targeting if you're targeting about uh, fitness what kind of fitness or what kind of dieting it is uh, keto diet or uh, juice diet uh, there are kind of a lot of kind of diets so if you are targeting a keto diet what is the main uh, uh, goal that you wanna a person gonna achieve once he's in a keto diet whether he's gonna lose uh, fat or whether he's gonna lose weight or whether he's gonna look fit okay if you look fit what is the next outcome whether they're gonna become more confident or uh, whether he you're gonna attract girls a lot of things that you can uh, you know if you if you sit one at one place and write on all the pain points and what are the outcomes that you can put uh, that you can generate for the audience post that content like you will have the content idea the content structure uh, hey look I'm gonna talk about the keto diet on this video and if you do this 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 you will get uh, a result and it's nothing but you're, you're giving value to your audience and if you give value to your audience they will obviously get more engaged with you they'll connect with you because you are uh, talking about the problems that they are facing in their life and you're you're, you're gi also giving a solution at the same time so they see you as a next level person your person who came from next level who is helping uh, uh, people at the down level and the ultimately it also build authority for you that in your niche or in what are the topics that you are talking and one more thing is how are you going to deliver the message what is the style what is the format that you going to deliver the message look uh, in on facebook or any other social media platform there are there are different ways that you can communicate your message either through post or posting the quotes videos uh, pictures uh, or polls on the facebook a lot of things are there that you can uh, use the facebook features that to get a lot of engagement but make sure that i would always recommend you to post videos because people say a picture is uh, worth of thousand words if picture is uh, equal to thousand words imagine what could be the value of a video so if you are still hiding behind the camera uh, make sure you come forward and capture the market that's still uh, very fresh and new all right so you posted a photo picture uh, quotation or a big article or a video 
on your Facebook page. So what comes next? Well, the game starts now. Most people think that, uh, hey, I create a video and boom, my job is done. Well, that's not the thing, my friend. So the real thing starts from now. So if you post, if after you post the video or any post on the Facebook page, Facebook will give you the engagement count, like how many people this message has reached, how many people got engaged. Well, that shows the statistics, whether you are really connecting with your audience or not. Uh, like it doesn't stop with the publishing the content it starts with the after the publishing the content so as i said like there are many engagement things that can you do on facebook like comments uh, likes uh, shares that happen on the facebook post so you can easily track what are the engagement that is going on your post all right what are the things that will take that you should be taking care to really boost the engagement well, you know, like many people post spam comments on your post once it uh, get a lot of reach and also people will be asking questions or they'll be, uh, you know, praising you or they'll be criticizing you. Make sure that you do reply those kind of people uh, because it will show that you are responsive and you are also uh, responsible of what are the content that you post and also you can block certain kind of comments on your Facebook post like uh, people who post uh, words or comments with uh, fake or scam or any other uh, curse words bad words that you don't want to put on your Facebook uh, post comments because it will uh, spoil your brand image uh, make sure that you have certain sections on your Facebook page that where you can control uh, the comments that people are posting on your post uh, for the engagement so one other strategy is using chatbots uh, chatbots are very very new thing um, in into the marketing world so make sure that you integrate chatbot on your facebook usually this will uh, increase the engagement and user experience uh, communicating with the chatbot you can set up the rules or like you can set up uh, what are the autoresponders what are the sequence of messages that should go when a person uh, start communicating with you uh, on the chat so uh, because many big companies are always using this strategy of uh, putting chatbots messages or uh, for uh, like you know pizza hut or domino's pizzas they are integrated the chatbot into their facebook page uh, and to uh, to get answer the answer the queries of the users and one more thing is you can always contact with the other influencers in your field like uh, i see a lot of people getting uh, or influencers they do interviews with other influencers in the same field or the other field suppose if i'm if i'm into marketing i can uh, bring a big blogger and do interviews so that my audience will get a lot of value and they can read what his struggles are what they can know what his struggles are there they can read his mind or mindset they'll learn a lot of stuff uh, uh, these virtual summits and many other things are coming up uh, which are going to be very popular in the next upcoming days so make sure that uh, you bring uh, it's not about blogging if you're into fitness you can uh, bring other fitness coach and interview them that will serve the purpose of your of providing the value to your audience make sure that you have some fun on your posts it's nothing like always posting serious content you can also post post uh, memes or polls or gifs gifs uh, so that people will be feeling relaxed it's not like uh, giving away all this again all right so those are, those are the organic uh, marketing strategies that you can implement right away uh, without any thought uh, make sure you track what are the engagements that are really going on your facebook post because facebook will obviously give this under your post make sure that you watch that and uh, there should be always a goal for any action that you take on facebook if you post something what is the ultimate goal that you're gonna reach like are you expecting uh, more likes or expecting more shares or are you expecting 
people to click on the buy button or are, are you expecting people to go and register for the webinar or seminar that you are conducting so there should be a goal and for that goal you should be producing the content a message and tweaking the message and uh, engage with the audience with the right kind of message so that's it for today guys and if you if you're new to my channel go and click subscribe i'll be posting more content strategies that you can take and put in action on your business so that you will reach many people i'll see you in the next video